Originally known as the F5G, the Tiger Shark was officially redesignated as the F20 in November 1982. This single seat tactical fighter was a privately funded development by Northrop building on the foundation of the F5E. Despite only a 21% increase in empty weight, the F20 boasted an 80% increase in engine thrust, greatly enhancing its performance compared to its predecessor. During the Cold War, the US government followed a policy of supporting any nation that opposed communism, regardless of the character of its leaders. While this helped contain the spread of communism, it also led the US to form alliances with some unsavory regimes. This approach changed with the election of President Jimmy Carter, who declared that the U.S. should no longer export its cutting-edge weapons and fighter jets. As a result, the FX fighter jet program was born, led by Northrop. Northrop believed that they could upgrade the F-5E Tiger II aircraft to be equal to any frontline fighter in the world, yet cost only a fraction of the price. The FX program got the go-ahead in 1980, but without any government funding. What emerged was the F-20 Tiger Shark, powered by a GEF 404 GE 100 low bypass turbofan. Offering 17,000 pounds of thrust, the 15,000 pound aircraft could hit Mach 2.1 at 36,000 feet. Despite its excellent performance and affordability, the F-20 struggled to secure sales. A potential deal with Taiwan fell through to avoid angering mainland China. Other countries showed interest, but were reluctant to commit unless the U.S. Air Force or Navy adopted the aircraft. Northrop suffered a major setback when the U.S. Navy opted for the F-16N over the F-20 as its aggressor aircraft, a loss compounded by the fact that the F-16N was offered at a steep discount. The final blow came when President Reagan reversed Carter's policy, allowing the export of advanced U.S. fighters to anyone with the funds. This led to a surge in sales of the F-15 and F-16, and the few F-20 deals that had been secured were switched to F-5E Tiger IIs. The F-20 program was ultimately canceled in late 1986. Northrop began building four F-20 Tiger Shark aircraft entirely at its own expense. The first two were heavily used in flight demonstrations for potential buyers, but were lost in crashes, one in Korea and the other in Canada. Both accidents were attributed to pilot error, as the F-20's performance exceeded what the pilots could handle. The third aircraft, closer to the final production model, was extensively tested and remains preserved in a museum in California. The fourth airframe was never completed. In terms of performance, the F-20 Tiger Shark was impressive. It consumed 53% less fuel, required 52% less maintenance, had 63% lower operating costs, and was four times more reliable than its competitors. Additionally, it boasted the fastest scramble time of any fighter jet in the world. Despite these advantages, the F-20 never went into full production, making it one of the finest fighter jets never went into production. Ironically, the F-16N sale that contributed to the F-20's downfall ended in disappointment for the US Navy. The F-16N experienced structural issues developing airframe cracks due to the intense daily use required by Navy pilots. As a result, the F-16N was retired earlier than expected.